YouTube, what's up guys, it's Soldier, and so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rid of beta delay on console no matter what ping you have. Before I start the video, I just want to say that no matter what you do, your console will always have a teeny bit of beta delay. However, I wanted to make this video because I found out all the ways to completely minimize this issue. In this video, I'm not only going to be showing you guys things that you can do to decrease your console edit delay, but I'm also going to be showing you guys tips that you can do to decrease your edit speed that you probably mistaken as console delay. I'm so excited to share with you guys the game changing things you can do to edit much faster that I recently just used to decrease my edit speed. Make sure to watch the whole entire video because everything I share here will help you in the long run. If you guys enjoyed the video or learned something new, make sure to drop a like and sub because we're so close to 40,000 subs. Anyways, let's get into the video. Even though I heavily advise you guys to watch the whole video, if you already know some of these tips, I'm going to give you guys some timestamps so I don't waste your time. The video will be broken down into three sections. Settings that will help you edit faster, secret tips that no one has shared, and how to maximize your connection no matter where you live. Alright, so getting into the settings that help you edit faster. There are two easy things you can do. The first thing you can change in settings is whether you would like replays to be turned on or off. Having the replays on setting running while playing can lower your FPS, which can definitely impact your editing speed. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys hear that? What the heck? Use cold solutions for double the edit speed, my guy! Another thing that you guys can do is decrease your dead zone sensitivity. A higher dead zone sensitivity can make gameplay feel really delayed, especially while doing quick edits in game modes such as box fights. I personally recommend a dead zone between 0.05 and 0.3. An example of why a dead zone is so important is because you want to have these little micro movements right here. It just makes you feel a little bit more comfortable with your play style when you can have full control of your joysticks. Um, like when I'm editing a wall, like I just want to be like full, like you know, fully in control. Yeah, I can't even talk. <laughs> fully in control with what you're editing all right so the second thing that i want to mention with you guys is actually something that i've never heard anyone cover because it seems obvious but it really isn't so when you're editing so i'm going to show an example of what a delay is for me at least and so as you guys see here the second tile doesn't really edit when i edit spam and i'm pressing all my binds right but the reason why this happens is because actually one of my binds on my controller, my select button, is broken. So it takes a little bit more pressure to um, press the button down. And that's what happens when controllers age. They sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit more pressure. Or actually, depending on what controller you get, it takes a little bit more pressure to press the button down. So if you guys are having issues and it doesn't seem like it's console delay and it's just literally you're, you have perfect Wi-Fi and everything seems going good except for your edits change your controller because it actually could change how you play forever. All right, so hopping into the third section, we're gonna be talking about ways to get the best in-game connection. So first off, right off the bat, this is really easy. You need an ethernet port. So what that means is that an ethernet port basically is something that connects from your console to your router. And it's just basically Wi-Fi going right to your console instead of traveling through the air. But yeah, make sure you have that first. All right, going into the second tip for you guys, this is for people without an ethernet cable. For you guys, you wanna make sure that your router is as close to your console as possible for the best connection. You don't want your signal going all around your house and then traveling into your console. You want the connection to be the strongest right next to it. On top of that, you have to check your network latency because it tells you how speedy the data packets move through the internet. Network latency is one of the aspects that eventually leads to high volume lag. So you have to reduce it as much as possible to enhance your gaming since the data packets will always move fast. All right, so one of the most important things for decreasing edit delay is having fiber optic internet. So using fiber optic cables, it can actually make it so that you can use multiple signals at top speed simultaneously. This is extremely important when connecting to the game servers or whatever. Having a high speed fiber optic internet is essential. The next tip I'm going to give you guys is to check your internet speed. Your internet should definitely be below 30 megabytes per second if you want optimal gaming connection because it's just not possible to edit really fast if you have bad Wi-Fi speed. All right, so to wrap it up, the four things that you guys can do to decrease your edit delay is number one, get an ethernet port. Number two, make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is under 20 millibytes per second. Number three, make sure that your router is close to you. And number four, get fiber optic internet. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up with today's video. I know I didn't only cover things related to console edit delay, like the console itself, but I wanna provide as much information for you guys as possible, just in case your edits are a little slower than usual. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on the video, and anyways, see you next time.